So we're in the main square of Ameca. We'll just walk down the main square here. Right in front of us, we have the Palacio Municipal, the municipal palace. And uh, I'll go ahead and explain. I got some sass in the last video I posted from Ahi Hik and Chapala about uh, not commenting on what is a municipality in Mexico. And municipality in Mexico is a little bit different than what we think of a municipality in the United States. Um, it's more like a county or a parish, actually. So, um, yeah, the municipality, we're in the uh, make a, a mun mun municipality, I believe, I could be wrong. I didn't do my Wikipedia research. But uh, usually, the municipalities have like a county seat, what would, what would be a county seat, basically the main uh, city in the region, which I'm sure is Ameca. And um, then it has little different towns that are also included within the mun municipality, kind of just like, um, just like counties in the United States. So it'll have the county seat, the main city in the town, and uh, then it'll also have different little towns that um, are part of the county. And here in Mexico, it's a municipality. So I'm pretty sure we're in the municipality of Ameca, which is why we have the uh, Palacio Municipal, the municipal palace. But let's go in, check it out, see if there's anything to see in the Palacio Municipal. I read that the building was originally established in 1500s or so, um, but it burnt down and then rebuilt in um, rebuilt in the early 1900s. So I think it has about maybe rebuilt in 1983, as it says here. El pueblo de Ameca y el ayuntamiento. So it looks like the it was decreed a town in 1832. So decreed a city actually in 1832. That kind of goes back to the video where we were talking about what is a city and what is a town. Ameca has about 50,000 people. And uh, they're calling it a city. Let's see if there's anything inside to check out. So first I went into an area with heavily armed men and quickly realized that it's probably not where I wanted to go. But at least coming in here is a beautiful staircase. And this is absolutely makes coming in to the Palacio Municipal absolutely worth it. I love these pictures. They have competitions going on with Tepatitlan for Las Chicas Mas Guapas del País. Like here, we need to award some, have some different awards for the uh, most beautiful women, most beautifully acclaimed women in all of Mexico. I don't know, that might be about it. In the Palacio Municipal. They just have government offices. That's usually all about they are, is government offices. Um, but a lot of times they'll have some interesting murals or whatnot in the different municipal palaces, bathrooms, free bathrooms, so you don't have to pay your five pesos. It's a beautiful building though. Looks like there's just offices here, but if nothing else we got to see the most beautiful women in Ameca. And that, I think, is worth it, right there. And I think that's about it. All right, let's keep going and see what else is in Ameca, vamos. So here's something you'll find all over Mexico that you won't find in the U.S. or in other places so much. But they're uh, basically a sweet stand selling all sorts of sweets. You have the mazapan, mazapan con chocolate from the De La Rosa brand. It's really typical. Like the, I guess I'm pretty sure. I guess it's like the main brand of uh, mazapan in Mexico. You'll see it all over. Selling in the streets, in the stands. We have other mazapanes, all different sorts of sweets. We have coconut. And up here, it looks like they sell the nuts, dried fruits, pecans. 
cranberries, figs. Then you got your Snickers. You asked me know the Snickers. So lots of different types of traditional candies. Candies you only find in Mexico. Pepe the Pig. I think that's in the US. I don't know. I'm not up to date on my children's television programs. But these we actually had um, in one of my previous videos in Tepatitlan. Got to try some of these, the sweets. I think these are made with um, pumpkin and they're made with different types of fruit and then it's really really sweet. You just explained to me that uh, it's eaten a lot of times with uh, milk because it's so sweet. And then here I think this is called Membria. I don't know why I think that but um, if somebody knows in the comments you can let me know. Again it's sweet, it's kind of like a jelly, probably has some gelatin in it. Looks good. Alright, so I was just um, walking around the municipal market. Este es el mercado municipal. Es el mercado municipal. So I was just walking around the municipal uh, market. I needed to get something to eat, and we're stopping to watch how they make the tamales or the um, tortillas. Just first, they'll have the. Um, Sunday maize. Sí. So first, she'll, she'll first take a uh, little bit of corn dough, press it down. ¿Y cuánto tiempo los dejan en ahí? Pues en lo que se cocen será alguno algún minuto, cuando mucho. En lo que se cocen nada más, pues nunca le he tomado el tiempo, la verdad. All right, so I feel like the whole restaurant is going to turn and look at me when I speak English, but um, oh well. Um, so I got the chili relleno, looks pretty good. Looks like we're in a pretty popular lunch spot in the Mercado Central. Have the fresh tortilla, chili relleno. Gonna give it a try. Always a good time. If you're liking this video and haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, you can do that at patreon.com. And I'll put the link below. Now it's time for lunch. Alright, very good. Chile relleno. Uh, it came out to be 65 pesos, so that's about three dollars 25 cents very good very good for that price so let's go ahead and just finish up walking around the municipal um, municipal market I'm sorry you can have lots of boots cowboy hats even though it has 50,000 people it's very rural I guess it, the city is I guess any city that has about 50,000 people is pretty rural. Like I already mentioned, there's a lot of sugarcane production. I heard there's a Coca-Cola factory. Um, that's about all I know about Omeka. Got the beautiful church, selling cowboy hats, shoes. And I don't think that there's an entrance to this municipal market. I already did a walk around it once it looks like all the vendors are on the outside kind of looks like they all sell just about the same thing have the cowboy hats and boots have the uh, butchers Hola. Uh, so oh pro grabber Puedo grabar? ¿Para qué? Para YouTube. ¿Pero qué, qué tipo? Es un video de viajes de México. Ah, pues graba. Solo para grabar la tienda. Gracias. Bueno, vamos bien, no pasa. Gracias. Alright, he's like, why does he want to uh, record my store? There's not even anything in this store. Anyway, 
That'd be cool to look inside a butcher's. It looks like he sold everything for the day. Um, yeah, I think, well, that's about the market. But I think what I want to do is in my last video, I talked to people, foreigners in Ahihik and Chapala. Asked them how they like life, how they like living in Ahihik and Chapala. And what are some of the things that they liked about living there? What are some of the things that they liked about living there? What's up, man? Very good. Basile. Basile. So I thought it would only be fair if I asked the same to residents of Ameka. So let's go see what are some of the things that people who live in Ameka like about living in Ameka. Vamos. Bruno. Oh, y vives en América. Sí, aquí ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas que te gustan de vivir en América? La paz, la tranquilidad, este, el cariño de la gente. Todo es muy, son muy amables todos. Gracias. ¿Cómo se llama? Mi nombre es Araceli Reyes. ¿Y cuáles son algunas cosas que le gusta de vivir en América? Pues mira, soy nativa de aquí de América. Yo pienso que con eso, ¿no? Me gusta su templo, me gusta pues todo lo de Ameca. Y se, sí. se queda acá. Yo aquí me quedo. Gracias. <risa> Carla. ¿Y cuáles son algunas cosas que te gusta de vivir aquí? Pues la gente que a veces es eh, muy ambientada. Y pues lo, nada más. O sea, ya por tradición de que de aquí son mis papás y aquí nací. ¿Y te quedas en América? Sí. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Romero. ¿Y cuáles son algunas cosas que te gustan de vivir en América? Eh, cuando vine para México, soy brasileño. Cuando vine para México, viví en Guadalajara, en los seminarios. A seis meses me mandaron para América. Mas venía antes, a los fines de semana. ¿Te gusta acá, en América? Mucho, mucho. Fiz muchas amizades, é, como se estivesse em Brasília, em minha cidade. É, muito me gusta viver em Ameca, as amizades das pessoas, é, a educação das pessoas é, e servir à igreja, não? porque sirva a Deus. All right, so we're in the center of Ameca and I just passed by a store I wanted to show you guys. So it sells lots of the cowboy hats. And the Meca is just about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Guadalajara. And pretty much anywhere you go outside of Guadalajara, you drive 30, 45 minutes, you're into a agricultural area. So driving into a Meca, there is lots of um, sugarcane plants. And so uh, I believe the main, the main uh, crop or agriculture in the area is sugarcane. So, and I actually heard that there's a Coca-Cola plant. So I think a lot of that uh, sugar cane is going into Coca-Cola. So come here and get your cowboy hats. Yes, yes. All right, so we're just by the main cathedral or church in Ameca in the center of town. So let's go in and check it out. Vamos.